All right. Amongst me and my coworkers at the first job I had, there was a joke that has been expanded for quite a few years at this point into a poem. How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another video. I've always been the creative type um, who would go about and try to make a bigger picture out of something that's very, like, very small. What I'm discussing in this video, as you heard from the introduction, is actually a pretty good example of that, in my opinion. So, jokingly, at my first job, a lot of the managers used to consider me a headache. Now, this was joking. I know many people IRL actually do consider me a legitimate headache, like a legitimate, oh gosh, stop, kind of thing. And yes, that was over-exaggerated intentionally. But at this job, it wasn't so much the case, unless you were two very specific people who didn't really get along with many of them anyway. That being said, I actually do have a copy of the poem that I created based off this joke. This poem has existed for at least six years now, maybe five. Now the poem is based off the joke, which is based, again, is my headache has a name and it's, well, me. Now I expanded on this joke to this poem to a point the poem actually is a little bit more serious in the long run. Did I originally intend on that? No. But because I am the way I am, it kind of came out that way anyway. Now, I'm going to read off the poem just because, you know, why not? Um, because I thought, you know what? Might as well share this kind of memory. This is a memory to keep in the books, in my opinion, in case I do lose this at a point. But again, the title for this is called My Headache Has a Name. Can I actually... Oh my gosh, that's really blurry. That's what that says. It's really blurry, unfortunately. Anyway, I'll go ahead and read this off. My headache has a name. It's D-A-V-I-D. Every day he comes to work, he won't stop bothering me. I see him at the line and at the first window. The sight of him won't leave my mind. It won't leave me alone. Once again, I should probably point out that the first job I had is Taco Bell. I don't know if... Yeah, I have said that already. Two line. Two windowed lined. Two windowed line. Anyway, back to this. The thought of this drives me insane. Someone please help me now. My head is in a ton of pain. How do I stop this? How? My headache has a name. It's the AVID. The thought of him still in my head. Someone please come help me. <laughs> I remember thinking through... Like, I'm going to stop. Pause here for a moment. I remember thinking through this and going, Okay, I want to make fun of myself. I want to beat on myself. And of course, that's the first thing that I think of. Now, there was one very specific manager who teased me more than others. If I remember correctly, her name was Amber, I believe. Amber? It's been many years, and I'm very forgetful, so it won't surprise me if that's inaccurate. But Amber and I got along really well. And when she first saw this, she was like, I would never do that. Well, no, duh. <laughs> This isn't meant to be like, oh, hey, I'm implying that you actually would do this. Of course not. I never thought that. It's just, it worked. Anyway, onward. His corny jokes can be so dumb, why doesn't he just stop? His laughter is so freaking loud and a topic I will drop. The most quiet time comes when he takes an order. Yes, he's still talking, but not as a joker. That one could have gotten some improvement. I keep thinking that every time I read this, but, you know, in the moment. My headache has a name. It's D-A-V-I-D. It seems that it is calm today, which actually bothers me. Truth be told, it's nice to have that ache around. Ache? <laughs> I did actually put quotes around it. Um, I wonder where he is today, that goofy little clown. That one might have been too cheesy, actually. I ask my boss if he might know. He says he has no clue. He tries calling him on his phone with not much else to do. I have a friend and coworker named D-A-V-I-D. He's running a bit behind the question begs how could he be. That one did 
get a little bit of skepticism on my end too. That little um, line, that one line. I don't know. I've never, I've never been great at coming up with this kind of stuff. It worked at the moment I wrote it. I'll say that much. It doesn't matter. He's here now. Back to his old, back to his old self. I mustn't let him know my thoughts, all despite myself. That line I actually liked. I will act different than I did, there's nothing wrong with that. Though I wonder what goes on in that head under that hat. For those who don't know, at least, because I don't know if this is everywhere, but at least in Arizona, where I was living at the time, the, co the workers were required to wear hats there. I don't think it was the case where I'm living now in Utah. I actually did work at a Taco Bell here for a while. I don't think it was required to wear a hat. I might have been wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if I was wrong. Ugh. Anyway, back to this. Okay, I'm going to read that again since it's the second to last um, group of lines. I forget what they're called. I will act different than I did. There's nothing wrong with that. Though I wonder what goes on in that head under that hat. I'll joke and say I've got a nickname D-A-V-I-D based off a joke about himself he left open for me. That part is actually true. That was the last of it. By the way, that last bit was true. And I even, like, like I remember leaving this note, too. Because I remember, I remember thinking I wanted to show this to the people who actually... Um, I worked with, I wanted to show it to them, just to say, hey, you guys gave me an idea for a poem that I could do based off the joke that you, that I ended up leaving open for you guys, because I always do that. It's nothing abnormal. The joke I left open for them led to me writing a full-fledged poem, but I had to make it very clear that this poem is not true in the slightest, um, from my understanding at least. But I do, I do think it sends a good message to those. Like, I, I have been tempted to change the name and a couple of the lines a couple of times just to match up with some, like, just to be more kind of a relatable, hey, this is not implying any very specific one person kind of thing. But I don't know. For some reason, at the same time, this poem, it does give me a memory to one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. It's not quite my favorite anymore, given the list of jobs that I've had at this point in time, but it definitely is up there with that. I would say it's probably second. I don't know. If you guys are confused on how the poem went, I can make another video in the future. Uh, let me know in the comments below, though. Uh, what did you think of, like, kind of the poem itself? If you did catch on to which parts were the poem and which ones aren't, what did you guys think? Um, this is kind of a history of myself. I actually keep a lot of my history in this binder without really showing that, or at least cre history based, creative stuff based off my history, I should say. Even this, which actually did, um, this image, for those who don't know, did inspire my original image for, uh, my channel. Now, it's been, it has been six years since I originally drew this. That I can confirm for sure. In any case, though, I am going to leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, if you liked it, uh, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel, because I do a live video like this, whether it's about me like this one, or a discussion and rant. Um... I do one of, at least one of those types of videos, if not just a general vlog, once every day. Uh, alongside a gaming video that implies nostalgia. Want to check out any other live stuff that I've done, though? Click the links on the side of my head. Once again, um, it'll be about me or discussion rant. I don't know, my head might have rammed into one of them. Uh, Want to check out my channel, though, in case you are curious about anything else? Uh, please do uh, click the link down there or consider subbing to the channel if you do like the kind of stuff that I've listed. However, in the meantime, I'm going to head off, but I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.